Don't call yourself a boxing fan if you haven't stayed on top of the events that took place in Quebec City on January 13th. Bantamweight world champion Jason Maloney retained his title after a stunning 12 rounds against the up-and-coming star Saul Sanchez, who took a crack at the title but failed to get through Maloney. But what unfolded in those 12 rounds that led to Maloney coming out on the top? Let's watch the champion and underdog duke it out for the spot at the top. But first, remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel for the best in boxing. First, let's look at the fighters and their backgrounds. Let's start with the champion Molinet. Jason Molinet's amateur career would be dotted by his participation in the men's flyweight division of the 2010 Commonwealth Games. He would then go on to become professional in 2014, following the National Amateur Championship with this debut against Chatri Sarafan. Molinet would eventually work his way up till he occupied the vacant position of WBO bantamweight champion title on his third try in 2023. Saul Sanchez would debut in 2016 against Tamuatsin Landeros Castillo, which he would win by a third round knockout with a record of 20 to 3, 12 KOs. He would have taken over as the bantamweight champion if he hadn't lost to Maloney on Saturday. The match began with Sanchez testing out Maloney's reach and reaction. He took an aggressive approach from the start, hoping the champ would wear out against his unending advances. Round two would see Sanchez picking up the pace, throwing some solid jabs toward Maloney. Sanchez would also begin to display his solid right hook, staggering Maloney here and there, delivering some blows to the body that were well missed in round one. But Molinet kept on a solid defense against Sanchez's blows. The match noticeably started to even out when fatigue started to catch up to the underdog, which allowed Molinet to begin his assault against Sanchez. What had so far been a one-sided battle started to become more of the tussle that fans were hoping to see, with both Sanchez and Molinet trading blows towards the end of the third round. The fourth and fifth rounds would see Molinet being able to put his talent on display, he started crowding Sanchez and working his body. And with shot after shot, Maloney started pinning Sanchez against the ropes. These might have been the definitive moments that turned the tide in Maloney's favor on the score sheet. It would seem Maloney suffered a gash on his head but would keep the pressure on moving into round five. Sanchez finally seemed to get out of his drunken stupor that he had fallen into and started trading some solid shots again in the sixth and seventh rounds. Sanchez would find a rhythm like how Molinet had and worked both Molinet's body and head. Each shot that Sanchez would take during these rounds would come at a cost of getting hit right back by counterpunches from Molinet. In the following rounds, Sanchez and Molinet would be engaged in a back and forth that would start wearing out the both of them. But Molinet, who had been able to conserve his energy during the earlier rounds, was able to put in a bit more effort than Sanchez, who was beginning to stagger around the ring. Molony would finally wear down Sanchez and deliver a leg-sweeping performance in the 11th and 12th round to gain the upper hand on the scorecards. Molony would put Sanchez out of duty by the end of the 12th round when clear signs of fatigue set into him. The judges would announce their final scores, while one judge would leave it at a tie at 114 to 114. The other two scores would come out as 116 to 112, making Molony the champion still. Molony would proudly keep the title he fought hard to get, but many of the fans would be clearly upset as seen by the boos of the crowd as Maloney was decided as the winner. So if you've enjoyed watching this breakdown of the explosive fight between Jason Maloney and Saul Sanchez, make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel for the best in boxing content.